I would never love a woman outside my family. Where's the line drawn when it comes to love scenes? Like your favorite pair of jammies, it's Tuck Soup, the home version, and it's all held together by Greg Kinnear. Yes, indeed, like moving into Tanya Harding's trailer park, this is the award-winning Talk Soup, checking out highlights of the talk shows. Greg, Greg Kinnear, back with you one more time. What was that little bit at the top of the show? Actually, actually, just to give you some idea of the important preparation that takes place to bring you this show each and every day. Let me show you what happens on the stage here before I come in. Yeah, this is a pretty good indication of the intense work and the, the hard work ethic that you'll find here at E! Entertainment Television. And there's Tom Boink McNamara now. <laughs> so you see, that's how we bring it to you every day, the magic that is the show. Coming up, a viewer confronts some cat fighting taikin tukati. You're going to meet a talk show guest who really gets upset. A love junkie can't decide between three guys. And a man who's proud to be a dog. First up, though, the subject here is groupies. Rock stars have them, so do athletes and even talk soup hosts have a few admirers wandering backstage. But what about suspected murderers? They, too, can have a few groupies waiting in the root wings, as it turns out. Wednesday, Bertice Berry welcomed a few of the supporters of Lyle and Eric Menendez. They squared off against one audience member. Take, take a gander at this. There is a critical distinction um, between somebody who fights back against a perpetrator that is raping them, threatening to kill them, attacking them with butcher knives, than somebody like a serial killer who goes up and selects an innocent person that they don't know and murders them for whatever, you know, their own pleasure or their own reasons mm -hmm. it, because they were abused. It's different when you're fighting back against your perpetrator than mm -hmm. when you're attacking Joan, bystanders. Joan, you wanted to respond to that. I don't know if everybody aware, is aware that when these people were killed, they were not only murdered, they were slaughtered to death. I have seen the pictures of the dead parents. How did you see these pictures? They were on the board in the courtroom. The mother's cheek was blown off. When Lyle Menendez, in his Laurence Olivier performance, was questioned... Have you ever been sexually abused? How do you know they were sexually abused? Have you ever? How do you know they were abused? And they had four years. Do you know what fear is like? How do you know what went on? Do you know what fear is like? I'm tired of hearing Laurence Olivier, by the way. It's getting boring. Uh, actually, I'm no Christopher Critic, but Lawrence Olivier, particularly in his performance of the award-winning 1939 film Wuthering Heights, was anything but boring. The adaptation of this Bronte novel was filmed with sensitive direction and sweeping performances that propelled this magnificent story of doomed love into the annals of modern movie classics, making it somewhat of a must-see on my list. In fact, I give it... Nine Spoons. Monday, Bertice will help a few nervous people pop the question to their bows. It will be a special, very, very special, dare I say, excruciatingly special Valentine's Day show Monday. Vince and Carol are not your average couple, my friends. They claim to have intimate relations six, on some occasions, eight times a day, which is, well, it's a lot. Anyway, these two lovebirds decided to go one week without being intimate. Wednesday, they told Mo how this exercise in celibacy fared. Take a look at this. Now, why did you agree to the experiment? What did you hope to gain? I thought it would be interesting um, to find out if he really loved me just for sex or as a person. And I really find out it's, it worked out, you know? It did? Well, tell yeah. us uh, what it was like. Tell us what, uh, what went on. Did you, did, it, did you cheat? <laughs> did anyone try to cheat? Yeah, yeah I did. he Several... did. <laughs> Every day, he what said... What did he do? He tried to get close to me and kiss me, and he said, nobody's going to know. Come on, let's do it, you know? Mm -hmm. He followed me, and I would try to, sh you know, hide, and he'll still chase me everywhere. Chased her around the house a couple times. And yeah. now, but you, so I guess you had more uh, conviction Yeah, I him. said, no, stop it. The most show. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, but in retrospect, was it, was it really worth it? Hmm? All for the most show? Later in the program, one audience member stood up and said, how do these two crazy kids have the stamina day after day, night after night? 
how can you go so often in one night? Yeah. How? Um, I guess proper diet, eating, taking care of yourself. Monday, Mo eats people who were beamed up into flying saucers and used as guinea pigs. Actually, she won't eat them, she'll meet them. Find out if they were forced to eat crisp cereal Monday. Attention all you single women out there. Valentine's Day just around the corner. You're looking for a nice guy who's going to treat you well? Someone who's going to romance you till your heart's content? Looking for that someone who's going to read you a little poem every now and then? Who's going to make Valentine's Day every day? Well, you wouldn't have found him on Ricky Lake's show Wednesday. I got a job, you know, I just don't mind, you know, being compensated, you know, by a woman. I'm pretty sure any man in here wouldn't mind getting paid by a woman. But do you want to do this for the rest of your life? Of do you... course. It was. No. Right, because but... we, can, we can make so much money doing it. But what about love? Wait, what about I'm intimacy? I'm not saying I'm going to do it for the rest of my man, life. Look, this is what I'm doing at this time and point in my life. I don't believe in love. There's no such thing as love. I love my mother and I love my sister, but I would never love a woman outside my family. Never. But what if, okay, never, you say would, you love your mother, you say you love your sister. What if a man did the same thing that you're doing to your mother? How would you feel? If my mother and my sister let him do it, more power to him. That's right. Woof, woof, I'm a dog. Who said that? Who, who said I'm a dog? We all dogs. Okay, well, I think half the audience said you're a dog. I am a dog. I'm a dog, baby. I'm a dog, baby. You know what I'm saying? I'm a dog. All right, you're a dog. You don't have to brag about it to everybody in the whole world. The dog, or Andrew, says that he's currently dating four different women. Monday, Ricky Lake will continue her search for the perfect man for eight different bachelor pets. It's a... Should I say somewhat special Valentine's Day, Monday, Finding a Man Part 2? We'll take a quick break and be back, hear the confessions of a love junkie, and we'll find out who's on top in the world of daytime soaps. From what I hear, you're not supposed to ever be on top of one another. Okay. Uh, that's something that's, that's a taboo. Uh, well, also, at it's night. It's only at night. During the day, you can be on top. We just did our primetime show. Not in New York, you can. Oh, you can be on top? Hey, you're currently watching the show that puts Sassy back into cable television. Talk soup. Wednesday, Vicki Lawrence spoke with several of her favorite sexy soap stars. Her guests included stars from The Young and the Restless, General Hospital, The Ways of Our Lives. Vicki asked the stars about the days of our lives. She asked the stars about the delicate love scenes they have to perform day in and day out. Where's the line drawn when it comes to love scenes? Like right about there? Or... <laughs> how, how do they, when do the censors come down on you, Wally? Or not, or how does that? Well, from what I hear, you're not supposed to ever be on top of one another. Right. Uh, that's something that's, that's a taboo. Uh, well, also, at night, it's, it's only at night. During the day, you can be on top. We just did our primetime show. Not in New York, you can. Oh, you can be on top? <laughs> no, in New York, you can. Oh. At night you can't be on top. Standard in practice. Before. You can no. sort of have um, the profile nudity oh, too, oh. not not total nudity. You but can. When I did the centerfold thing, I showed the profile nude, not the. Uh, but did you see little things, Vicky? <laughs> you mean my silver dollars? You never saw the profile of my silver dollars. You didn't. No, I didn't cover those. They showed a little. So what left do you cheek do? You do you? Of mine coming out of the shower once. They showed you a little, little left, a little bit of the left cheek. Yeah. <laughs> But profile. Yes. So do you have to do you have to do I, that, Starkers? Uh, I had on a uh, 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 G-string -string thing. Well, what about you, Vicky? Did you have to do that? <laughs> huh? buff? Pretty much. Wow. Michael, any thoughts on this? This is good stuff. Well, I guess it is. Last actor she heard from was Victoria Rowell, star of The Young and the Restless. She received Vicky's Sexiest Actress Award. Monday on Vicky, three celebrity couples will play a game to determine how well they know each other. It'll be a very special Celebrity Valentine's Day show. A lot of very special Valentine's Day shows on Monday. Michael, any thoughts on, on any of this? This is good stuff. Yeah, that's what I thought. 
Pity poor Rita. Pity poor Rita, who was on Shirley's show Wednesday. For some reason, she cannot explain. She is attracted to love, and love is attracted to her. Over and over again, she has found herself in a situation where she is fighting off mobs of men who are trying to, in any shape, form, or fashion, cling to the very essence of her soul and person that is her. <laughs> She's currently trying to decide between three guys, including her ex-husband. Take a look at this. You were married, right? Yes. And then... You and your husband split up. Yes. And now you're living with a great guy. Well, Maybe I'm not really living with him. It's like we have our separate apartment. But you're, are you in love with him? Well, yeah. I'm not really sure, but he's in love with me. Okay. <laughs> All right. He's in love with you. But in the meantime, not only are you involved with him, but you're still calling your ex-husband. Right? Yes. I still love my ex-husband. I can't get over the, the fact of love. When I was with him, I just didn't love him that much. And now that I'm, I'm away, it's like I loved him more. I don't know why. A lot of us who have exes don't know why either, you know, Rita. <laughs> but not just that. I mean, you're, you're in love with one guy, in love with your ex-husband, and then there's this other guy that you're in love with, too, I understand. Well, it's not that I'm in love. It's just that guys won't leave me alone. I try to tell them I'm taken. They won't leave me alone. Probably not going to change, Rita. She says she believes she does what she does for the attention. Monday, Shirley examines the issue of altering male private parts. It'll be a very... Oh, another very special Valentine's Day show Monday. Wednesday, Maury Povich examined the subject of public wedding proposals, like when people use Skyriders or the Diamond Vision screen at stadiums. Do these proposals make other people uncomfortable or embarrassed or irritated? Maury wanted to know what the audience thought of this matter. Take a look at this highlight, Maury Povich. I mean, what do you think about all these public proposals? What do you think about it? Stand up here. What do you think about that? It's a pretty good idea. It'll probably give everybody else a good idea about it, too. Yeah? Uh, you don't mind, like, these proposals in public? No. Aren't you kind of get embarrassed, kind of kind of awkward about things like that? Mine almost did it to me one day. She did? Well, I work on a billboard. Yeah? She, she did it on the billboard? She bill was going to ask me. Yeah, but she didn't do it? Me. No. She didn't do sweaty that? Sweaty palms. Yeah, sweaty palms. So you would rather have it more private, I guess. Mm, I'll do it on a billboard. You would do it on a billboard? No, I'm public. Oh, yeah? Why not? Okay. Oh, yes. Who are you? Oh, my. Oh, my. Yeah, yeah, hi, yeah. Okay, you <laughs> I asked you here today mm -hmm. so that I could make this day a day that we'll always remember. Oh. Will you take this ring as a token of my undying love and as a promise? that you'll be my husband someday. I will. Oh. Earlier in the show, Maury had on a guy who proposed to his girlfriend, thank you, Bob, at the local salad bar of their grocery store. So you see, that wasn't quite as touching as this. This is good stuff. <laughs> Monday, Maury Povich meets some true life heroes who save themselves and others from death. Brushes with death. Back in a few moments from now, believe it or not, you're gonna meet Famous cat fighting strippers, dynamite and danger, right here, right after this. Hey, Corey, how can I get some tickets to your new show starting on NBC in February on the 28th? Well, you're just right. NBC tickets, 3000 West Alameda, Burbank, California, 91523. Phone number 818-840-3537. Usually selling for over $200 a ticket, you can get them free. That's right. If you are actually out here in Los Angeles, uh, starting the 28th, Monday through Thursday, I guess, Tom, we're doing the show out there in Burbank live every day. Come on down and let's move on. 
Barbara and Destiny were friends for seven years, seven years. Then Babs began telling Destiny's boyfriend, G, that's the name, G, that Destiny was cheating on him. Babs also made passes at G and even apparently fondled him when he was asleep. When Destiny found out, she ended a relationship with Babs, but Babs wants to still be friends and went on Richard Bay to plead, plead forgiveness. Please, I need your forgiveness for this time. I'm begging you, please. Hell no. Why? Why? Because you ain't nothing but a bit more. Excuse me? I ain't got nothing to say to you. Listen, I felt bad for him. I had to tell him. You, you saw what you did, all the aggravation you has put us through and stuff, trying to break us yeah, up. Yeah, but you're no, back with him now. Stand. That's right, because I'm mad. You can't do nothing to try to separate us. No, no, I ain't got nothing to say. So, well, it's a new year. Why can't you just forgive me? No, I can't do nothing. Why? I want you out my life. <laughs> You talk about you sorry, right? Yes. Have you saw I kiss my big toe? <laughs> you want me to kiss your foot? Yeah. You promise you're going you're gonna to forgive me? I'll think about it. Tell her. Tell her. Tell her. Tell her. Tell her. Another one of those low-key Richard Bay shows there. Well, Richard then asked Destiny if the foot kissing or toe kissing, if you will, had actually changed her mind on this whole situation. She did kiss your big toe. <laughs> Can you forgive her and come back and start this friendship again? Nope. How? Oh. Monday, it's another very special Valentine's show. This one, even on Richard. He'll set up people with crushes on their dream dates. Wednesday on The Tonight Show, Jay welcome comedian turned actor Sinbad. He has had several comedy specials and now has his own sitcom, I guess, on Fox, uniquely called Mrs. Ty Bologna. Mrs. Ty by Bologna was in the audience. He stopped in his tracks and just had, had to say hello to her. Take a look at this. Ty by Bologna, where you at? She's out of there. For years, I learned to skate. I watched you. It's like a bad love connection. I'm, I'm serious. I'm, I've been, this woman, I, I, I learned to skate. Just say, one day I'm going to meet her, and I'm gonna, we'll be skating. It'll be a beautiful thing. And I'll, whoosh, Ty, what's up, baby? <laughs> you know? I mean, I was waiting for that day, man. Yeah. You have that little dress that skaters wear. They wear that little dress, and they have those strong thighs, and they always, it's, and the wind catches it just right. You're like, hey, okay. Yeah. <laughs> you're fine, you're fine. Now, I don't fine. see you as it. Huh? We can go skating. Don't hit my knees, though. I'll go with you. <laughs> and you know, I, I don't think Tanya did it. There's no way she could know because that no. was her husband and her best friend, and she lived in the house with him. There's no way. There's no way. She called the hotel. She went to see where the girl skated. But there's no way. No. <laughs> I feel so sorry. Yeah, that's a sad. If you hit someone, break their leg. Don't just run now, man. Nancy got more offers. She's making more money. Oh, yeah. With her broke leg, she don't have to win. Oh, yeah. yeah. I would just limp. I'd go on the ice. Oh, she's trying. Oh, yeah. Sinbad on the Tonight Show. Apparently, Sinbad actually married with a couple of children of his own. Getting a little frisky on last night's show. Monday on the Tonight Show, Burt Reynolds is going to talk about his hit show, Evening Shade. It airs Mondays, of course, on. Uh, CBS. Take a quick break and be back when a viewer confronts a couple of Montel's former guests right here next. They have men wrestling too. You said they had men wrestling, but I don't get off seeing 300 pound men in spandex rolling on the. Well, of course, you remember the Montel Williams show that featured those cat fighting strippers, Dynamite and Danger. Who could possibly forget that momentous occasion? We were all amused by their. Crazy annex, but not Jody Maddox. She was repulsed, shocked, and somewhat disgusted by the duo. She went on Montel's show Wednesday to tell them so. First of all, I'll tell you, first impressions always are the best. First impression here, slut. Uh-oh. That's it right there. First mm -hmm. impression. 
And I don't see how y'all can um, be so degrading to women. You as women should be, you know, proud and everything. We are. You no, know, all you're doing, men's fantasy is to have two women fight over them, and that's all you're doing is giving them their fantasy. And, Why not? And, it, and it's, wrong. It. It's, wrong. Right. it's wrong. It's wrong. It's wrong. And no, I don't. I don't think so. And you, I know so. You're, you're very, you're very degrading. Well, let me ask you this. Um, do you also sell sex? No, we don't. Okay, so your morals, your morals are not there for obviously for this. <laughs> So suddenly you're telling me that your morals already come into position and you're not going to sleep with them for the right money? I find that hard to believe. Sweetheart. Right. I find that hard to this believe. This is a form of entertainment. That... No, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. wait. They have, they have men wrestling, too. You said they had men wrestling, but I don't get off seeing 300-pound men in spandex rolling on the floor. Well, don't knock it till you tried it. Jody watches the show from her home there in Rome, Georgia, and Dynamite and Danger are working as strippers to put themselves, I guess, through school, right? Monday, even more crazy special Valentine shows. Montel will unite some secret crushes and fulfill some of his viewers' dreams by introducing them to some of his former guests. That will be Monday. That's going to do it for this Talk Soup, everybody. I'm Greg Kinnear. We'll be back here again tomorrow, 9 Eastern and 8 Pacific, to do it again. See you then. This is good stuff. Up next, for all your soap needs, it's the program that lets you in on who did what to whom and for how much and how why. Never could say that correctly, could I? It's Pure Soap coming up next. I'll get it better next time.